Hello, I'm Patricia Silva with your SCV Newsbreak for Wednesday, June 15th. Representative Steve Knight's St. Francis Dam National Memorial Bill is one step closer to becoming law. H.R. 5244 would create a memorial and a monument to honor the victims of the disaster and preserve the disaster site. The bill was considered in a House Natural Resources Committee markup hearing Wednesday morning. It passed the committee and awaits consideration in the House floor. The Santa Clarita City Council approved a motion Tuesday to purchase land near Semex. The council purchased nearly 14 acres near the city-owned Semex property for open space preservation. The property is priced at about $68,000. The council also held a budget hearing and a hearing on the Henry Mayo Newhall Master Plan. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, here's some tips on how to be safe while enjoying the pool this summer. Plus, the 1950s take over Old Town Newhall. Stay tuned. If we're going to say no to lupus, we need to know lupus. Lupus almost took my life. No. 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 No lupus. No lupus. Because there is something we can do. Each of us. All of us. There is hope. We just have to get involved. I haven't given up. I challenge you to know lupus. Go to lupus.org slash no. There is hope. Hey, George, there's breaking news. AM 1220 KHTS. I'm George Cummings with breaking news here in the Santa Clarita Valley. It turns out we have an emergency situation Let's going go. on. Ready in five, four. Breaking news from the Santa Clarita Valley. There's an emergency situation happening in Saugus right now, and our news crew is on the scene with more information. Welcome back to SCV Newsbreak. As temperatures climb, so does the urge to dive right into a refreshing pool. But before you do, it's important to be aware of the risk factors involved while taking a nice swim. Here's more. While most of us enjoy a nice dip in the pool during a hot summer day, there are many risk factors involved that swimmers, young and old, should watch out for. I think one of the biggest mistakes a lot of parents make is, you know, an over sense of confidence in their kids swimming. People in general have a natural love and ability to swim, but not everybody knows how to swim. So just because your kid can swim with their floaties on doesn't mean that if they fell in the pool, they can swim without their floaties. So I think a lot of parents don't realize how serious it is to make sure your children know how to swim before allowing them to swim on their own. According to a report done by the Centers for Disease Control, about 10 people die each day from unintentional drowning. Out of that 10, two are children aged 14 and under. And on top of that, Drowning ranks fifth among the leading causes of unintentional injury death in the United States. So how can swimmers and pool owners be proactive when enjoying a nice dip in the pool? Everyone should always swim with a buddy. You never want to swim alone, and that really goes for kids. You always want to have an adult watching your children swim. I, even as a lifeguard, don't swim by myself. But more than anything, it's, you know, a lot of kids like to horse play and, you know, push each other in, and you never know if somebody can't or doesn't know how to swim, so you don't want to ever push anyone in the water. Another thing we tell the kids at the pool is, it's kind of a little saying, we say, reach your throat, but don't go. So you never want to jump in after somebody who is drowning. Um, you want to lay down on the deck and reach out your arm, reach out a pole, reach out some kind of something to, you know, have them so they can grab onto it. Um, so that way you don't become a victim yourself. So when you're swimming during the summer, remember to stay safe and have fun. And also, as many lifeguards would say, running. Don't ever run around the pool deck. No running. For SCV TV, I'm Patricia Silva. Looking for something fun to do on Thursday? Look no further than Old Town New Hall for Thursdays at New Hall. Senses is returning to Main Street in 1950s fashion. Come rock the vintage look as pompadours, rockin' bangs, polka dots, and leather jackets take over Old Town. Music from the Hard Six and Three Bad Jackets will help you dance the night away. Now turning to weather, Wednesday was cloudy with temperatures staying in the low 70s and high 60s. Thursday, the clouds clear away, leaving conditions sunny and temps at 82 during the day. Friday, things start to heat up with temps at 88 during the day, but on Saturday, the big heat wave begins with temperatures at 95 degrees. Sunday, expect hot weather to be in full force as temps reach 102 during the day and 67 at night. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Silva.